Nigeria's Sovereign Investment Authority, Old Bucho, and UFF Agri Fund have signed a memorandum of understanding to set up a new co-investment vehicles of about $700 million to look into invest in real estate and agriculture. Uche Oji is the Chief Executive Officer at NSI and is joining us live now from our Abuja studios. Good morning, sir. Thanks for coming through this early Monday on the program. Mr. Thank Oji, I'm you. sure you can Thanks hear me. me. Okay, okay, thank you very much for coming through. Now, uh, take us through, in summary, what the new co-investment vehicles is all about. $700 million in agri and real estate. Uh, talk to us from the side of your agency in this deal. Thank you very much. Um, I think, first of all, let me correct you. Uh, this is not an MOU. This is actually uh, a joint venture company, what we signed were subscription agreements. Um, so it's, it's actually a much more serious uh, collaboration than just an MOU. Um, what we signed also is um, a collaboration to say we will, um, each at this stage, commit to $100 million for real estate um, and also commit to $50 million combined for agriculture. And then uh, for real estate, we can raise our commitment to a combined $200 million, depending on the opportunities we see. And then we will invite um, other parties to uh, join the uh, JV uh, the fund to raise it to $500 million for real estate and $200 million for agriculture. Uh, all of this is equity. And, and, and this is a combination of many years of discussions with Old Mutual. We've been in collaboration on various things prior to now. On the real estate side, we started talking, I think, in 2014. And what we decided to do is to create a joint fund to look at opportunities now in Nigeria on real estate and also on agriculture. UFF is a specialist agriculture fund, uh, also backed by Old Mutual um, as one of their core investors. And all of this is to look at um, real estate opportunities in Nigeria. I'm sorry, agriculture opportunities in Nigeria. So it's two funds. One for real estate and one for agriculture. Now, if you go back to NSIA's strategy, uh, when you and I spoke, I think, uh, a while back, we said that there are three uh, pillars to NSIA's uh, infrastructure fund strategy. The first pillar is direct investments by NSIA, which we've made a handful of. Uh, the second pillar is co-investments, where we actually use NSIA's capital to catalyze um, other forms of capital. Um, and we are seeking like-minded investors, and we're looking at institutional investors, we're looking at other sovereign wealth funds as potential partners. And uh, over, the, over the years, we, we've built quite a significant level of interest. And so this is the first of, in my opinion, um, a few more of these type of collaborations you'll see uh, for NSI. The third pillar of NSIA's infrastructure uh, strategy is to create and develop institutions that will help make infrastructure uh, an investable sector. So these are the three things that we uh, have been planning to do. So the, that second pillar of co-investments, uh, this is the first major announcement here, and we're very pleased uh, to have Old Mutual as our anchor partner uh, on this. The other thing, NSI, that I want to remind you is that we had identified out of 15 investable sectors, five that we want to focus on at the first stage. The first is obviously agriculture. The second is real estate, including housing. Uh, the third is... Um, Power, the fourth is toll roads, and the fifth is healthcare. And so this is a continuous execution of the five year rolling plan of the NSI. Well, it's a very interesting talking to us about the pillar two of the NSI three pillars, as it were. Uh, talk to us about this new uh, vehicle. What's, how, how is it named? How is it structured? Uh, how is the funding coming through in terms of uh, the size and the periods at which you're putting sure. money into these sectors? And what are the expectations? What do you aim to achieve? Absolutely. So there are two structures here. The first is we have an investment company uh, which is offshore registered and that investment company is now the vehicle through which our investments and third party investments come in. Uh, it's owned 50-50 NSIA and Old Mutual um, at this stage. Uh, but we're bringing other investors and we've had uh, uh, quite a significant amount of interest when we started soft selling this strategy. 
Uh, so what we've done is, you know, we closed with Old Mutual as our, as our, our partner, and then uh, we make a couple of investments, and then we invite other people to join who have shown interest. And these are select, uh, this is my opinion, uh, like-minded investors, which are institutional investors and other funds of, uh, of our type. Now, uh, we also have a management company um, uh, registered both offshore and onshore in Nigeria. And, and again, this is all about jurisdiction and giving people comfort who are bringing capital from outside the country. Strategy-wise, we're looking at commercial real estate. And I mentioned uh, many areas where we see interest uh, ranging from um, you know, office buildings to logistics. I think one of the things that people have not really understood is that logistics is a significant area of interest. Um, and it's very important in terms of what it does to the economy, the broader economy. Uh, our interest in uh, real estate, including housing, uh, across the board um, is driven by the fact that we believe this is one of the areas that will have a significant multiplier effect on the economy um, in terms of job creation, employment, and also real value added in terms of making business execution fairly easy. So this is why we are we're focused on this. The same structure is also what we have on the uh, agriculture side, again, an offshore registered investment company and an onshore registered uh, management company, as well as an offshore registered uh, uh, management company. And again, this is about being able to receive uh, pools of capital from other people. And if you look at the way it is, NSI has catalyzed the uh, real estate uh, uh, venture with an initial $50 million uh, invest investment, which was matched by Old Mutual. And we have both committed to raising that individually to $100 million as opportunity builds. And the same thing is on, on, on agriculture, where we have catalyzed it with initial $25 million matched by UFF, and we have commitment to raise that as we see opportunities. Now, in terms of how we execute, uh, the two uh, organizations have a joint team, um, and it's a, it's a company, joint company that will now start to uh, develop opportunities in the country.